survival stars. Come, little fish, into the shady nook. No, thanks. Bugger. What's on the menu today, Timmy? Warthog pool. Yeah, get out. Get inspired by the quirks of nature. You can't help but admire my stripy attire and the pipefish. Now I'm going to rub my eyes and, hey, are you still here? Coming up, join the melee and get a taster of what's to come when the sardine run hits the South African coastline this month. This morning we made our way up into the Transcar. Our destination here is the Port St. John's area. This is going to be the area that we're going to be targeting over the next month and a half or so. These are probably the most common dolphin found in subtropical waters, hence the name, common dolphins. Actually, at this time of year, you get these massive big superpods that come together and when this happens, the numbers in each pod can range between 1,000 to 5,000 animals. A really impressive sight in the water. These animals for us are probably the most important in the whole sardine run. Because what they do is they'll dive down corral a or carve a section of the shoal of sardines off, push them up to the surface and boil them nice and tightly together and this is when all the action happens. Once that starts the sharks join in, obviously the Cape Gannets start diving from above. So for us they're a really important part of the, the whole sardine run. What we also noticed was how these animals change direction and change speed just from a, a hidden signal, whatever that may be, I'm not too sure, but in a blink of an eye they can go from cruise mode into flying mode, which is very impressive and at one stage we tried to keep up with them in the boat and it was very difficult for us. and going at between 30 and 40 kilometers an hour so you must understand that these animals really travel quickly when they they found some baits or some fish or whatever the case may be they can really move when they want to just to the left of us we noticed quite a big body of of animals what we had seen in the distance was a huge mass of moving sharks. Literally hundreds of different sharks were moving along, tracking a small bait ball. Quite incredibly, at about 14 meters, I noticed a scrum of sharks and dolphins and most impressively, the, the Cape Gannets. All these predators were after a small pocket of what I thought were sardines, but after closer inspection were actually red eye. Quite a close cousin of the normal sardine, but a little bit smaller and a little bit quicker. And because of that, the, the predators battled to form these bait balls. These little red eyes are also part of the sardine family, but not the sardines that we're waiting for. You never know what's going to bump into you next. And for me, it was going to be a copper shark. Swam right into my head. Um, 
gave me a bit of a fright, but managed to carry on. All these predators are now in this area, waiting for this huge spectacle to start happening. And uh, as soon as something does happen that resembles the, the sardines, they all move in and track these animals in the hope of, of a quick bite and an easy meal. Catch the next Wild Oceans episode and go to earthtouch.com to follow the greatest shoal on earth.